Famous League, the one and only right out here exploring. And we're right outside of New Ellington and Ellington, South Carolina. Ellington, South Carolina was a community in South Carolina until the Savannah River plant and all that stuff tested nuclear bombs. The whole city's gone, and now it's been turned into New Ellington. So we're going to travel around and explore New Ellington, Old Ellington, South Carolina, and surrounding areas, and look at some of the history, abandoned buildings, all that fun stuff. And we're going to start right here. Got a building right behind me. And I got a Savannah River plant pa placard over here. So we're going to check it out and uh, go on from there. So we got right here, Savannah River plant. The Savannah River plant, SRP, was built in 1950-56 by DuPont for the Atomic Energy Commission. SRP, a nuclear production plant, produced tritium and plutonium for national defense during the Cold War, creating 310 square feet mile site in three counties meant moving all residents from their homes in Ellington, Dun Dunbarton, Myers Mill, Lee, and other communities. See, I told you they were like testing nuclear stuff. The first reactor at SRP went online in 1953 and the free neutrino and subatomic particle was the first detected at P reactor in 1956. SRP also produced medical and research isotopes and energy research for the NASA uh, in 1972, it became the first National Environmental Research Park, renamed Savannah River Site SRP in 1989, and it's owned by the U.S. Department of Energy. Then we go from there to over here, which looks like to be a old, decrepit type building of some sort, maybe a. Uh, like an old uh, auto parts store or something like that. A little type auto parts store. Look, there's a little window right here. What's it got on the inside? Actually, the inside looks like it's falling apart. Yeah. I wonder if I can go around. So yeah, you come over this side a little bit, you kind of see the building's kind of falling apart a little bit. Don't trust it to go inside of it. Yeah, it looks like it was an old, maybe, uh, like a body shop fabric shop kind of like little car parts place and the first thing i've come across yeah gonna move on and see what else we find over here in the city come across a lot of abandoned stuff already so to the next we're gonna see what else we can find love you guys Most of this right here, as you ride down, you start to see these yellow signs. They all say no trespassing. All of this is Savannah uh, River Plant, U.S. government. So it's the U.S. Department of Energy owns it. So like Ellington, Lees, and like three other counties, as I told y'all in the beginning of the video, all just gone. Wiped off the map because they were testing bombs and all kind of stuff right here. And every, the whole line you go down on both sides of the road, there's these little yellow signs that you see there, there, all say no trespassing. I wonder exactly what the sign says. If I get a chance to stop where there's like a place, I will stop and um, read the sign and see what it says. University of Georgia, Savannah River Ecology Laboratory Conference Center. But I wanted to show you all this. This is what I was talking about. These are the signs that's everywhere. No trespassing by order of the United States Department of Energy. Unauthorized entry bonus facility interaction. Subject profits jurisdiction. $5,000 fine. Code 10. But yeah, you can't go in here because it's... Yeah, Department of Energy, literally. And they have all of this. And all this used to be communities, like Ellington and all that stuff. All these were areas and communities. And it just all wiped out.
what this place right here was, but I had to stop and take a look at it. Don't know if it was a house or what it was. But I definitely had to stop by and take a look at this. Kind of looks like it's falling apart. It's been falling apart for a while now. Oh, I thought I heard somebody inside. Yeah, you can't go in there. Floor's falling apart. Dirt, the whole house is falling apart. No wonder. It had to have been like that's one, two, three, four, five, six, six doors, so maybe an apartment building of some sort. Can't go inside of it, but it's wicked looking. Right down the road come across this this is definitely not creepy whatsoever out here exploring the area Around the back side now. The, like I said, around the back side now. I was walking around the house, getting a good look at the house. Little shoe. It's not private property or anything like that, so it's cool. But I, I saw it and was like, yeah, I gotta check this out. I'm trying to hit like all the abandoned spots I see around this area of Ellington and all that stuff, so. I wonder if it was just a casualty of Savannah River site and all that. Mm, intriguing. On to the next. riding around and just came across this look at this creepy looking house 1817 something street smells like it's been on fire 
there's a hose running up to the top of it. It smells like it's been on fire. That's literally all that smells like fire. It's creepy looking though. I guess there had to be a fire out here or something. But it is definitely creepy looking. Mm, weird. The street right here and it looks like, I don't know what this used to be. It's all boarded up. Weren't those gas pumps here at one point in time? Maybe this was like an old gas station back in the day. Come across a lot of this right here. Just boarded up old abandoned spots. They yeah, just old, pretty much old abandoned storages and all kinds of stuff. This has got all kinds of stuff in it. Toilets. Shoes, all kinds of stuff. It's crazy stuff you find when you just start exploring, right? What's up, everybody? And welcome. I had to ride by here. The abandoned Aiken, old Aiken Hospital. Somebody's been in there painting. I don't know if that was on there last time. Doors are still, that door is still open. But it's got no trespassing on it, so you don't go inside. This place is pretty, really, it's pretty cool on the inside. If you haven't seen the video, check it out. It's definitely worth checking out. Just continuing the abandon from the day. Now we're over here at the old Aiken Hospital, mental hospital, crazy place. It's got no trespassing, so you don't go on the inside. You can't go on the inside. But I wanted to walk around the outside and just look at it. I don't think that was open last time I was here. It wasn't. Somebody had to open that here recently. It goes to the inside of the hospital. I don't remember that being open last time. But you know, the place is, place is massive and it's huge and it's creepy. Like I said, we've been in here before. We went into that building over there and that was where the guy was laying down when we turned the corner. One of those places. Pretty massive. Really cool on the inside. We've done all one, two, three, four stories. We were actually on the top store, story one night. And um, this was back before they put up the signs that you couldn't go in it. But we were on the top floor and we had gone down to this side. And the door locked and we thought we were stuck on the fourth floor we we're gonna have to climb out but luckily mike and them found another door that we were able to use to get out that we were actually able to use to get out of the building we were scared because we made it all up to the fourth we had all the way down there and then the door locked on us so we were tripping but luckily we were like i said we were able to find a exit and get out but place is pretty cool solo live and it would be amazing i guarantee you there's people inside this building somewhere mm. boom y'all might know this area right here i've been here before for rando and i went up the stairs well, i went up the elevator and then i ended up taking the stairs down and so i saw somebody sleeping in the hallway so we're about to walk up the stairs and see if we see anybody sleeping Nothing on the second floor.
That's where they were sleeping at last time. When I came down this corner. Hello, city of Augusta. Luckily, there was nobody in there this time. Thank goodness. I might just walk through here. Mm, it smells amazing down here though. Oof. What up everybody and welcome to the Allen Fuqua Center, also known as the Montrose House. lead the one and only welcome to the video this is all one continuous video all i'll be doing is out exploring basically this is the one video of just everything i do from exploring rando everything now this is the allen food Cross center let me tell you a little bit about this place okay let me pull it up Allen Fuqua Center, May 5th, 1974, Augusta's Montrose Home Dedicated. May 5th, 1974, Montrose, one of Augusta area's most historic homes, was formally dedicated as the Allen Fuqua Center to be used by nearby Reed Memorial Presbyterian Church. Businessman J.B. Fuqua and his wife purchased the house and the surrounding property as a gift to the church and a memorial to their son, who died in a 1970 with three others in a small plane crash. The house is an example of a Greek revival architecture built in 1849 by the Reed family. In 1877, it was bought by Colonial C.C. Jones and former mayor of Savannah and noted Georgia historian. It reminded in his family and it remained in his family for almost a century. Is that the whole story? Also known as the Reed Jones Carpenter House.
Yep, this is also Georgia constructed in 1849, a single story wood frame building on a raised basement of uh, stucco brick. The house is listed in the National Registry of uh, Historic Places on November 13th, 1979. They say it's haunted, but I'm trying to figure out. The ghosts wore black. Ghastly tales of the past general. It said it's haunted, but I don't see anything on it. But since it was dedicated to somebody, let's go find out. Maybe we can get his son or one of the past owners to come and talk to us, right? So we're right out here in front of the Fuqua Center, also known as the uh, Montrose House. And we're about to open up my ghost tube and see if we can talk to somebody. Is there anybody here with me today? Standing outside the Allen Fuqua Center. Augusta, Georgia, also known as the Montrose House. Is there anybody here with me? Okay. Hello, what's your name? Is there anybody here? My name's Shelf. Shelf. I just said Shelf. Is there anybody here at this house that want to talk to me? House. House. Yes. Standing outside the house. Do you want to speak with me? Can you come up here and talk to me? Who's here? Donna. Hello, Donna. How old are you, Donna? Can you tell me why you're at the house? Roy. Donna and Roy. Donna and Roy. Who's Donna, Roy? Sleeping, watching you, 25. Sleeping, door. sleeping, watching you, 25 door. What about the door? Are you behind the door? Are you inside the house? Possessed. 
Why are you possessed? Why are you at this house? Candle. Can you make a noise for me like this? Can you knock on the door for me? Let me know you're here. Sing. You're gonna sing for me? Go ahead. What happened to you? Long. I heard your son passed away in a plane crash. Is your son here with us? Man, how do you feel? I said man and how do you feel? I feel fine. Can you come out? Can you come through the phone and talk to me? Can you tell me what happened to you? What did you die in? How did you die? Purgatory. It says purgatory. How did you die? What is your name? My name is League. What is your name? Who am I speaking with? Oh, what was that? That was like a bang. Who's here with me? How did you die? Did you just hear a plane? Did you just hear a plane? What is your name? Who's in this house? What are you doing here? How old are you? Did you just hear I'm eight? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just heard a girl's voice say, I'm eight years old. That was I'm eight years old. What is your name? You just came through saying you're eight years old. What is your name? Are you happy? Okay, the whole entire, hold on a second. The whole entire porch is like vibrating right now. Hold on a second, that's creepy. The whole entire porch is like started vibrating. Why are you at this house?
Can I help you? <laughs> Are you at peace? Do you like this house? Yes, that was a clear yes. That was a clear yes in a woman's voice. Can you tell me what your name is? Who am I speaking with? Ma'am, what's your name? Yes, you, what's your name? Can you tell me your name, please? How are you doing, ma'am? Did you say fine and watching? Are you watching me? Where, where are you watching me from? Are you inside the house? I am. If you can see me, what color is my pants? They just said black. Okay. Are you an intelligent spirit? Are you a demon? Am I speaking with the son that passed away? How did you pass? What do you want to tell us? Is there anything you'd like to say to us? Anything you want to get off your chest? Maybe that's keeping you from going to the light. Do you miss this house? That was a color or that was a co that was a color orb. Can you come outside and talk to me? Walk outside that door. Why are you trapped here? How many spirits are here? Is there anything negative here? Is there anything that would harm anybody at this house? Are people... Are people safe to be here? Are you hurting people? Do you want people here? Do you want everyone to leave? I'm hearing like tapping coming from over here. Closing circle. If you're here, can you walk outside? Can you show yourself? I'm getting ready to leave here to move on to my next location. Is there anything you want to say or do before we go? Thank you for speaking with me, whoever that was. I had an eight-year-old girl and an older lady and a man speaking to me today, so thank you.